I'll be demonstrating for you how to prepare a script in Final Draft for import into Scripty. I'm going to use the sample script, Depth Perception, that is included with Scripty. I'll start by opening the script in Final Draft. The first thing to check is the view. Notice how large the letters are. For some reason, if the script has been zoomed to something other than 100%, it will not export correctly. To check the zoom setting, click the View menu, then the Zoom menu, and then click on the 100% menu. There we go. Normally, when you receive a script from production, it will have scene numbers. If your script doesn't have scene numbers, you will need to add them. You can do that by clicking the Production menu, then the Scene Numbers menu. Check the Number, Renumber box, then click OK. Now I'm just going to click Cancel since my script already has scene numbers. If this is a script that has been revised from its original and the original had scene numbers, be sure to check for added scenes and make sure they have scene numbers assigned to them as well. Every scene must have a scene number. Now Scripty can import a properly formatted script in the final draft standard format or the colon hog format, or actually any format that is close to those two. You can check the format by clicking the format menu, then the elements menu, and in the pop-up window, click the Paragraph tab. Notice the measurements over here. You can check the measurements for the various scene elements such as scene heading, action, character, and dialogue. As long as your script is close to these measurements, it will format and import into Scripty correctly. If the format varies beyond these measurements, you may need to apply a template to the script. Just select the standard screenplay format template from the list. Now I'm going to click cancel since our script is already in the correct format. The next thing we need to do is to add the page number to the header. Click the document menu, then the header and footer menu. Click to the left of anything that is already in the header and type P-A-G-E pound. Next click the button that says page Notice a little box appears in the header. Then press the right arrow key to move the cursor to the end of the little box and type end page without any spaces. Now if there was already a lot of information in the header so that adding the page number caused it to wrap to a second line, delete some of the information so the header fits onto one line. When you are done, click OK. Now you are ready to save the script in a format that Scripty can read. Click the File menu then the Save As menu. At the bottom of the window, you'll notice a format selection. Select the Avid script-based editing format, and notice that the last three characters of the file name changed to TXT. You may not see this if your Mac is configured to hide file extensions, but it's there. Next, select the location where you want the file to be saved. I'm going to select the desktop. Finally, click Save, and Final Draft saves the file in the Avid format and you're ready to import it into Scripty. Next, I'll close the original script. I don't need to save the changes that I made to the header. And here's the file that I will import into Scripty. And one last thing to check. Open the TXT file and take a look at it. Sometimes Final Draft will double space the lines during the Save As. If this happens, do not import that file into Scripty as it will double the page count. Try saving it again in Final Draft until it looks like the original. Well, that concludes this demonstration of how to prepare a script in Final Draft.